Introduction Students, today I am going to teach you three-dimensional geometry. Has anyone heard about it before? Teacher, I have heard about the 3D glasses which we wear while watching 3D movies. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You are probably familiar with two-dimensional Cartesian geometry by now. That is, planar geometry. With this, we will learn about three-dimensional space or solid geometry. Real-world objects exist in three dimensions. For example, a cuboid or a box is completely described by three parameters as follows, length, breadth and height. Corresponding to that, each point in the Cartesian space has three coordinates, x, y, and Z. Look at this figure carefully. The X axis is along the length of the screen. The Y axis is along the height of the screen. And the Z axis will be the one coming out of the computer screen. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define coordinate axis and coordinate planes Explain coordinates of a point in space. Find distance between two points and explain coordinate axis and coordinate planes. Let us take an example of a bouncing ball in a room where one corner of the room is considered as the origin. We can take any corner of the room as origin of reference and relative to that the coordinates of the point change. Thus, the origin can be taken arbitrarily at any point of the room. Let us start with an arbitrary point O in space and draw three mutually perpendicular lines X dash OX, Y dash OY and Z dash OZ through O. The point O is called the origin of the coordinate system and the lines X dash OX, Y dash OY and Z dash OZ are called the X axis, the Y axis and the Z axis respectively. The positive direction of the axis is indicated by arrows with thick lines. The plane determined by the X axis and the Y axis is called XY plane, that is XOY plane and similarly yz plane that is yoz plane and zx plane that is zox plane can be determined these three planes are called coordinate planes the three coordinate planes divide the whole space into eight parts called octants coordinates of a point in space let p be any point in space through p Draw perpendicular PL on XY plane meeting this plane at L. Through L, draw a line LA parallel to OY cutting OX in A. If we write OA is equal to X, AL is equal to Y and LP is equal to Z, then X, Y, Z are the coordinates of the point P. Again, if we complete a rectangular parallel piped through P with its three edges OA, OB and OC meeting each other at O and OP as its main diagonal then the lengths OA, OB, OC that is X, Y, Z are called the coordinates of the point P. The coordinates X, Y and Z of any point are the perpendicular distances of P from the three rectangular coordinate planes YZ, ZX and XY respectively. Thus, given a point P in space, to it corresponds a triplet X, Y, Z called the coordinates of the point in space. Example Name the octant where the given points lie. 2, 6, 
8 minus 1 2 3 solution since all the coordinates are positive therefore 2 6 8 lies in the octant ox yz since distance between two points we use the pythagoras theorem to derive a formula for finding the distance between two points in two and three dimensional space let p is equal to x1 y1 and q is equal to x2 y2 be two points on the cartesian plane as shown in the figure then from the pythagoras theorem we find that the distance between p and q is pq is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square in a similar way it can be proved that if p is equal to x1 y1 z1 and q is equal to x2 y2 z2 are two points in the three dimensional space the distance between p and q is p example 1 find the distance between the points 2 5 minus 4 and 8 2 minus 6 solution let p 2 5 minus 4 and q 8 2 minus 6 be two given points therefore pq is equal to square root of 8 minus 2 square plus 2 minus 5 square plus minus 6 plus 4 square is equal to square root of 36 plus 9 plus 4 is equal to square root of 49 is e example 2 show that the points minus 2 3 5 1 2 3 and 7 0 minus 1 are collinear solution let points minus 2 3 5 1 2 3 and 7 0 minus 1 be denoted by p q and r respectively the points are collinear if they lie on the same line p q is equal to square root of 1 plus 2 square plus 2 minus 3 square plus 3 minus 5 square after calculating p q we get square root of 14 p r is equal to square root of 7 plus 2 square plus 0 minus 3 square plus minus 1 minus 5 square after calculating p r we get 3 into square root of 14 q r is equal to square root of 7 minus 1 square plus 0 minus 2 square plus minus 1 minus 3 square after calculating qr we get 2 into square root of 14 here pq plus qr is equal to square root 14 plus 2 into square root 14 is equal to 3 into square root 14 is equal to pr 